Okay, today we're going to show how to remove a solenoid from the Kirk key uh, interlock system, key captured key interlock system. So the, the lock would look like this uh, mounted on the back panel, on the swing panel, uh, or it may have a two locks, a double lock system. In either case, uh, the mounting screws need to be removed from the front. And I'll show you the back of that switch. In the back, in the back, it looks like this solenoid that we're going to remove. Go ahead, Chris, point to that. All right. So there's what it looks like mounted. You need to remove that first from the swing panel. And once that's done, you can see the back of it. So there's two wires leading to the uh, solenoid, and we want to remove those from the terminal block. That's the comb off here. And those are going to be left attached to the solenoid itself. Now around the front of this assembly you can see there are four mounting screws that were not visible when it was mounted, but they are now, and they're accessible. Simply remove those four screws. And there it is. The solenoid has been removed. Now, and you can see that the wires are not, no longer connected. So just uh, remount that whole assembly back on your swing panel, and you're done.